Right, so let's see how we can use these identities to help us simplify these tree expressions. Notice that all of the angle measures in these four example problems here, none of the angle measures are common angle measures. So we don't have 30 degrees or 45 degrees or 60 degrees, so it's not like we can look back at a table and actually get the values and plug them in. So the way that these can be worked are by applying the identities. Let's look at the first example up here. Sine squared 40 degrees plus cosine squared 40 degrees. As long as we have the same degree that we're evaluating sine squared and cosine squared of, if you're adding sine squared and cosine squared, then the answer is just equal to, well, let's think back, look at the, the Pythagorean identities. We had sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. So as long as the angle measure is the same and we're adding, that's just equal to 1. That's the identity. All right. Yes, for this one I would use the Pythagorean theorem. Now if you were to punch that in a calculator, you'd still get 1. But we don't need a calculator to work that out because the Pythagorean theorem tells us, or Pythagorean identity tells us, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. So as long as the thetas are the same, as long as the angle measures are the same, it's always going to be equal to 1. Okay. All right, let's look at the one to the right of that. The tangent of 10 degrees times the cotangent of 10 degrees. There are several ways you could work this one out, but the easiest would be to apply a reciprocal identity. Now, the reciprocal identities say cotangent of theta is equal to 1 divided by tangent theta, and tangent of theta equals 1 divided by cotangent theta. So you can apply either one. I'm going to apply, I'm going to just change tangent of theta in terms of cotangent of theta. So tangent of theta was equal to 1 over cotangent of theta. So tangent of 10 degrees is equal to 1 over cotangent of 10 degrees. So this term here and this term here are the same. So I just, I'm going to bring down the other term, cotangent 10 degrees. So I have cotangent 10 degrees divided by cotangent 10 degrees. And what's something divided by itself? 1. Other than 0, of course, you can't divide by 0. But Something divided by itself is 1. Okay. Now let's look at this example. Now I see a lot of squares in there, so probably want to think about Pythagorean identity. So you see this, this identity here, tangent squared theta plus 1 equals secant squared theta? Well, since my expression has secant squared and tangent squared in it, you probably want to use that one. And I'm going to write it down right here. Tangent squared theta plus 1 equals secant squared theta. Alright, now if I was to take this Pythagorean identity and move the secant squared over to the left side of the equation, move the 1 over to the right side of the equation. So I'm just swapping things around. Then I would have tangent squared theta minus secant squared theta equals negative 1. So as long as the angle measures are the same, if you take tangent squared theta and subtract secant squared theta, you always get negative 1. So that means what for the problem that we have? Well, 
this is secant squared 13 degrees minus tangent squared 13 degrees. So it's not quite the same. So what we might want to do, since they have the secant term positive and the tangent term negative, is there's a lot of ways you could do it. You could divide every term by negative 1, or you could think about it like this. Well, we were up here and I, I switched the 1 and the secant squared. What if we were to take the, the tangent squared and move it to the right side? And that would leave the 1 by itself, wouldn't it? So I would have secant squared theta minus tangent squared theta equals what? Positive 1. So you could either divide everything by negative 1, or you could go back to where I was switching the terms around and just move the, secant, the tangent squared over. So if this is always true when theta, when these are the same angle measures, then what does my problem have to equal? It has to equal 1. Okay. And the last example here. Cotangent of 20 degrees minus cosine of 20 degrees divided by sine of 20 degrees. So cotangent of 20 degrees minus cosine of theta over sine of theta is cotangent of theta. So cosine of 20 degrees divided by sine of 20 degrees is cotangent of 20 degrees. And what do you get when you take something and subtract itself from it? Zero. Zero.